Lonzo, I know uh, a little frustrating with the decision last time out, but I'm just curious, I guess, kind of what lessons you took out of that performance. Do more in a clinch. <laughs> yep, you know, uh, work more in the eyes of the judge. Is. Do, do, you, do you recall kind of what you felt at the time? Did it felt like you were being more active than maybe you were when you went back and looked at it? I mean, I felt like I was controlling them. Um, as far as controlling them, I realized I could have did more. Um, so it is what it is. I got one check, <laughs> not two. <laughs> so. Did that start getting you into like how we judge? It's been like a big debate lately. Like, what are the judges actually looking for? What you know? What what do they value? I mean, as you watch that fight back, did that occur to you? Like, what are, am I am I looking at the wrong thing? Am I not looking at the same thing the judges are? Right. So I, I guess looking at the fight, I, I I try to see what the judges are looking for, moving forward. So um, yeah, just look like you're doing something. You don't actually have to do anything, just make it look like you're doing it. Look like you're doing something, right. <laughs> <laughs> well, talk about the preparation for this one, uh, a change in opponent. I mean, does that, when, does that change anything in how you get ready for something? No, it was always this opponent. Okay. Yeah, the first contract was his name. I think they just got it wrong. Nice. Yeah. What, do you, what do you think about it? I mean, when you face a, a newcomer, kind of, you know, do you, do you bother, like, looking for tape outside of the UFC? Do you prepare yourself that way? Yeah, you know, I play linebacker, uh, so we always study film. But this guy is like invisible on the uh, internet. Good job with his team <laughs> and making him a secret. So you really, I, I was gonna say, I haven't found much footage on him, so you didn't find much footage on him either. No, no I, I found a little bit, uh, so I was able to pick up something from, from him. So we'll see it Saturday night, but uh, yeah. How much do you change your approach based on what you see? I mean, do you, do you tailor an entire game plan or is it more just like knowing what they're gonna do? Yeah, I guess you just got to have the MMA mindset. Just mix it up uh, when they're like unknown like this. Um, so yeah, I take it where um, wherever the fight goes, uh, I'll take it. And, and uh, my plan is to dominate, yes. period. Do you think you hold advantage over a newcomer? Just, you know, you've, you've experienced this. You know what it feels like, you know what it is. I mean, do you think whether it be nerves or just not knowing what the cage feels like, the lights look like, do you feel like that gives you an advantage? It may, maybe, maybe not, I mean. Who, who, the, who knows? I don't know. Um, it's all up to him uh, in his head. But me, I, I don't care. Do you think he'll try to clinch you and want to be in that position? I hope he clinch me because I'll clinch him. <laughs> <laughs> Last thing for me, I guess, uh, I mean, what's the goal here? Is it to, I mean, obviously you want to get a win. Is it to do something spectacular? Or is it, you know, if you have to grind out a decision, maybe the way the last one's been, is that okay with you? Uh, finish, because I, I need, um, Need that the narrow, so I'm gonna finish regardless. Three checks. Yeah, give me three. Yeah, hell yeah, I'll take it. <laughs> hey, Lonzo. Hey. Um, did you see the news of, of, of his record being changed and um, him having two tabology uh, accounts and everything? Yeah, yeah, I seen it, man. It's preposterous, <laughs> madness. <laughs> what what do you think of that? I I, I don't know, man. I, it's it's hard. <laughs> I don't know what to think. Uh, so uh, I don't I don't want to insult him, but I'm like, uh, are you for real about fighting or are you not? I mean, so I, I'm I'm curious to see how he'll fight Saturday, because I'm like, this, when you're in there, it's no more opposing. This is what it is. It's a fight, and this is the highest level. So we'll see. Your teammate Ryan Spann got a win in his last fight. Uh, yeah. I just wanted to your your thoughts on his performance. Yeah, he shut the back door on that guillotine. Right, <laughs> he couldn't spin out of it. He shut the back door. I thought it was awesome. Uh, congrats to him over here, to him. Congrats. Um, and then you're also fighting with teammate Damon Jackson. Um, are you one of those um, fighters that gets more nervous about your teammates fighting uh, with yourself? Because I've, I've heard both sides about that. No, 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 teammates. No. See, when you get in there, it's, it's an individual. So I don't get nervous. I mean, we're, we're warriors. Let's get in there. Let's fight. So that's what I, I tell them. Do you like fighting with teammates? No, nah, I, I don't care. It doesn't matter to me. <laughs> like with them or not. <laughs> awesome, thank you. All right, cool. All good? Yep. Awesome. Thank you, guys.